So this will be a tutorial on how to work with images in Python and how to import images and how to download image data site and actually use it for data analysis. So I have an image in my file system. So if I run it, I have this part. So if I now say img or if I say image.show.open and specify the part, we can have a new image opened up here. But this is not the point. The main thing is the image data set that is actually available in Google APIs and then it can be used for uh, image analysis or data analysis using images. So how do we get here? So let me explain to you step by step. So I'm going to take this one away so that we can start right from the scratch. So the first thing I like to do, because the idea is that I want you to have image data site downloaded. So I'm going to open a new Python uh, notebook. So the, the number of things you have to import, the first one is OS, because we are going to be storing images in our file system. So we're also going to import PIL. PIL is a library for managing images. And we also need to import PIL, or we can say from, sorry, let me just say from PIL import image. Okay, so we need this to be able to open image and modify images. And also we have another library called skimage that we are going to be using later, import IO. So I'm going to show you two ways to actually uh, use images. Um, okay, I'm also going to say from TensorFlow, sorry, import TensorFlow as TensorFlow as TF and from TensorFlow dot data sites uh, from TensorFlow data sites import uh, one second so I'm going to import TensorFlow dot data sites as TensorFlow data sites okay so let me run it just to make sure everything is fine now there is one thing about TensorFlow and SK Image and PIL. This have to be installed uh, in your system uh, in the packages for Python. So if you go to your Anaconda, let me just go to Anaconda. If you go to Anaconda to your base here, you want to make sure that TensorFlow is installed and all these other things are installed. So if I go to installed right now, you can see TensorFlow installed, but if it's not installed, you go here and search for it, and then you have to install it. So for instance, if I go to check here, okay, so you can see SK image right here. So this is how you would install packages uh, in your Python uh, uh, directory or as part of the packages. So just in case something fails here, know that that is exactly how you are going to use it. Install it using Anaconda. All right, let's now download a set of images. And to do that, I'll have to also import one more library called Pathlib. Pathlib. Now, the image data site available uh, as part of the uh, TensorFlow libraries is uh, called Flower Photos, and that is the one we are going to be using. So I want to put the path here in my clip uh, right here. So let me just say data set the image data set url is going to be this let me just paste it because i copied it to my clipboard right oh sorry and v. yeah so this is the this is the url for the data set for the images so you can actually check for it by actually uh, searching for this in google okay so the next thing we want to do is to create a local directory i'm, so I'm going to say data directory now in my file system, I'm going to create a local directory tf.keras.utils utils.get file and save. The origin of this file is going to be the data set URL we created, data set URL, and you are going to say f the name of the the name of the folder that's gonna hold the images, it's gonna be folder name will be flower images. So I'm going to create a local folder called flower images. And now this, this folder here coming from uh, 
the online repository is a tar folder so I'm going to untie it or unzip it so I'm going to say untar is equal to true all right and finally uh, I want to now yeah so this is what we have okay so I'm going to say data D and specify the data directory so this data directory now refers exactly to, if, to this part in my file system. I'm gonna show you where this part is located. So at this point, the image is, is going to download uh, to my local directory. So the question you might be asking is, where is this location, this uh, data directory, where is it located? So you can, also, you can just check for, uh, by entering it right here, and you can see that it is located in this place. All right, so if I go to this directory, my file system, if I go to that directory, uh, I think it's a hidden directory. So if I hit on my keyboard, command enter dot, I have the hidden directory open. So if I go to Keras and go to data site, you can see that we have the flower photos right here and we have list of flowers downloaded to our local system right here. So let's open some of them uh, in Python uh, code. All right, so let me get back here. So how do we open uh, this file? So the first thing I would like to do is to get the, the folder containing the roses. Remember, we have a number of folders. We have daisy, we have dandelion, we have roses, we have sunflowers, we have tulips. So let's get the roses. So I'm going to say roses is equal to the list of the data directory object, data directory, the, and I'm going to get the roses roses slash star so getting all the uh, all the file extension uh whether it's png or jpeg is going to be here so if you want to look at what is the roses here it's going to just be oh it's giving us an empty directory all right so i'm going to kind of repeat the same process so we have flower photos okay so let me see um and here i have flower image um so that is a problem so let me just change it to flower photos flower photos okay so that's going to be my data directory so i'm going to just kind of copy this i'm going to just execute this one more time and i think i should have it at this point so let's see all right, so if I run this and run this and run this now, you can see that we have uh, uh, the result here. So if I say roses, you can see it gives us the directory to all the images in the roses uh, directory. All right, so how do we then display the actual images right here? There are a number of ways to do it. Let me show you the easy way first, and later I'm, I'm going to show you a different way. So let's start by saying, uh, I'm going to simply say I am going to say image that open and specify the directory for a particular image. So for one particular rows, I'm going to say str uh, because to convert this post this part to actual part, you're going to use a string. So I'm going to convert it by saying roses specify zero. So at this point, I should be able to see one image. So again, I can just change this to one to see some other image. And so we have the image of our roses showing up here. That is fine. Now I would like us to display this image in a grid view, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create R1 is equal to io.imread. Now if you use imread, it's going to get the image image meta uh, metadata into this variable i'm calling it r1 so img im read is a library as part of the io which we imported uh from sk image right here so it's for reading images storing your files in your file system so uh it's going to be so basically we are going to be taking this right here so this is uh, for the first one and we are going to be changing it up uh, so this case we have zero and let's let me just create four different image images i'm going to be displaying them in a grid uh, of four of 
a grid, a grid of four images. So it's going to be four. And let me just change this one to, to one, this one to two, and this one to three. So I'm going to run, and this is fine. So I want to display this image in a grid view using Matplotlib. So I'm going to create a figure. Uh, I'm going to say the figure I'm going to create is equal to PLT does uh, Matplotlib the PyPlot the figure. I think you should know about this by now. So I'm going to use a fixed size of 15 and 20. Okay. So it's going to be fixed size is equal to 15, 20. I don't want to make any mistake here. <laughs> so it says PLT. Uh, so, so I'm going to, before I do that, I'm going to say import matplotlib.py plots as PLT. I'm going to now run. So we have this uh, figure created. So I'm going to create subplots. I'm going to create a subplot AX1. AX1 is equal to F. Uh, fig that add subplots. So if you look at the link in the description box, you'll see uh, a link to where I explain subplots. All right, so we want one column and four rows. So it's going to be four rows, and I want to display image one. I'm going to say ax one dot i m show and it's going to be urban so i'm going to run it now and it says add sub so i think there's an error add sub plots it's going to be add sub plots okay so you can see it displayed the first image so basically you can just copy this and uh paste and just change the numbers so i'm going to paste 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 so here i'm going to display this is r1 r2 it's going to be R2, and here I will have R3, and here I'll have R4. So 1, 4, 1, 1, 4, 2, and here I'm going to have 1, 4, 3, and this is going to be 1, 4, 4, and this is going to be AX1, this is going to be AX2, 2, and here is going to be AX3, AX3, and here is going to be AX4, AX4. Um, yeah, this is fine. So I'm going to run everything and now you can see display uh, the images correctly. So you can actually repeat the same process and display it in a second grid uh, or several grid of rows and columns. So check in the description box, you'll see how to work with subplots. And this is basically how to display images. So how many ways have I showed you? I've showed you the first way, simply use img.open and it's going to open this image or you can use img read, im read, and then display the images using subplots using im show. All right, I'm going to be stopping here. Uh, later on, I'm going to be showing you how to actually analyze images. I've done a bit of this in a uh, previous tutorial. I put the link in the description box on how to analyze handwriting uh, images using TensorFlow. So please remember to subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave me a comment if this has been informative for you.